Find an undercover officer investigating a strip club for COVID violations is now accused of crossing a line with one of the dancers. And this scandal cost several people their jobs. Carissa plan up live for us in the newsroom with the investigation and the fallout as well, Carissa. Jared and Nicole, the director and deputy director of the Arizona Department of Liquor resigned in April without any explanation of why. Reports say it all started with an operation at Skin Cabaret in Scottsdale. We must have policies and procedures in place. Jeff Hines, a former internal affairs investigator for Phoenix Police, says an undercover operation must involve clear rules and boundaries and solid evidence. You have tape recording, you have video recording. These are things that are critical. Hines points to pitfalls in the Department of Liquor operation last fall. An internal affairs report from the Department of Public Safety shows two undercover officers were at Skin Cabaret looking into complaints the strip club was ignoring COVID-19 protocols. One of the officers even paid for a dance in the VIP room. Hours later, Skin was served with an order suspending their liquor license, listing the stage name for the dancer who performed in the VIP room. That's when management at Skin Cabaret called police. The dancer who was in the VIP room with the undercover cop told Scottsdale investigators the man tried to touch her private parts and even grabbed her hips and thrust it into her. The case was submitted to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office, but prosecutors turned it down. The officer in the VIP room was identified as Detective Miguel Sanchez, and the dancer's police report sparked an internal investigation into the strip club sting. Investigators were particularly interested in a report where Sanchez said the dancer allowed him to touch her. Sanchez tried to clarify, saying he put his hands on the woman to prevent her from coming into him. And he told Internal Affairs his boss, Deputy Director Mike Rosenberger, told him to clear it up in his final report. Once you start down the path of trying to fix something, it's only going to get worse. Hines, a police practices expert who did not participate in any of these investigations, says mistakes happen, but an officer can never change a report. You can go back and supplement the report later on with, I would like to clarify a point I wrote in my first report. If they would have done that, then this would not be an issue. Internal Affairs came down on Department of Liquor Director John Coca and Deputy Director Mike Rosenberger for talking about the investigation, even though they had been told not to. By the time the internal investigation wrapped up in April, Coca, Rosenberger and Detective Sanchez had all resigned. And Chris, I know earlier you were telling us that internal investigation, the initial one, kind of hit a dead end. Well, that's because the center of that investigation ended up resigning uh, rather than being terminated. Investigators determined uh, that Detective Sanchez should be fired for dishonesty, but he resigned before that could happen. Now, the state board that certifies officers told me today that it has now opened cases on Detective Sanchez and the deputy director to find out if they should ever be allowed to serve as cops again.